Welcome to The Meaning of Words with Denami. Today's word is fast food. To fast means to refrain from doing something. Therefore, fast food is the food that you don't eat. This has been The Meaning of Words with Denami. Hey, guess what? This is my theme song. So, why was the chicken happy? Give up? It's because he made it safely to the other side of the road. Why is it so cold here? Me from the past? Of course it's cold. You went too far into the future. It's almost Halloween. Almost Halloween? Man, I need a costume. Well, you could always draw the word book on your face and go as Facebook. Hey, that's a really good idea. Nicely done. Now that's classy. Okay, see you later, future Tom. Bye, have fun in the past. Man, I really need to learn how to time travel more accurately. Incidentally, this marker doesn't really wash off very easily. So, as you could probably tell from the title of this video, the EAG is going to have a Halloween costume contest. So make a video of yourself in your best Halloween costume and submit it as a video response to this video. You have until Halloween night. That's when the contest closes. Sometime shortly after Halloween, I will watch all of the videos and announce the winner. Among other things that I have yet to decide, the winner will have their EAG AG status upgraded. Once I have decided exactly what else the winner is going to get, I will post that as well so that you'll know, so that you'll have more motivation. I just haven't decided on that yet. And now, here's something else. A few of you have mentioned how you were able to see the reflection of me from the future in the mirror behind him, and then he was masked by the barrier of bad editing. These people, however, are obviously unaware of the consequences of abusing time travel in a way such as I do. You probably just have too much on your mind, like your skull, some muscly, fleshy substance, your skin, scalp, and hair. Unless there's a monkey sitting on your head, that would mean that you have a monkey on your mind. I can tell you from experience, I do not have a monkey on my head. However, I am very much aware of the effects of time travel. You see, I am not supposed to cross my own timeline as much as I've been doing. Or at all. And in doing so, I've created a rift in the space-time continuum that located itself in my bedroom at that exact spot at that exact moment in time. The thing that was appearing in the mirror behind me from the future was actually just the residual after-image of me from the future traveling back in time. Nevertheless, I should probably refrain from filming in front of a mirror. And by the way, you never did tell me what actually was on your mind. In the comments, Mr. Curtis writes, Dragon Ball Z rocks! And then he made this face. Well, I'm sorry to inform you about this, Mr. Curtis, but unfortunately you're in the wrong place. There are no Dragon Balls here. Ooh. <laughs>